Now, all eyes are on Africa following the signing of the Nairobi Declaration, and now more than ever, the continent is determined to speak in one voice on the effects of climate change and climate financing. To some, this may be new. However, this is not the first time that Africa has signed a similar declaration. As NTV's Helen Aura now reports, there was a climate pact signed in 1990. So, what has changed since then? 33 years later, Africa is determined to rise and deal with the adverse effects of climate change, such as unpredictable weather patterns resulting in prolonged droughts, devastating floods and diseases that are not only posing a humanitarian crisis, but also crippling the economies of many nations. Africa only accounts for less than 4% of the global emissions. But what exactly makes this declaration different from the one that was signed in 1990 under the leadership of the late President Daniel Arap Moi? In 1990, the declaration sought to urge African countries to introduce policies which promoted diversification as a means of reducing economic and social vulnerability. They were further urged to enhance reforestation. Africa called upon industrialized countries to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions and accelerate the cancellation of external debt owed by the developing countries. The United Nations was tasked to support African countries in international negotiations. The private sector, on the other hand, was urged to increase its research efforts to develop environmental-friendly policies. 2023, African leaders have called on decarbonization as the global economy is also an opportunity to contribute to equality and shared prosperity. Invite development partners on the global south and north to align to coordinate their technical and financial resources directed towards Africa to promote sustainable utilization of Africa's natural assets. A call to accelerate the ongoing initiatives to reform the multilateral financial system and global financial architecture. Urge the efforts to refine the G20 Common Framework for Debt Treatments, but remain concerned that these efforts lack both the adequacy and timelines. Propose to establish a new financing architecture that is responsive to Africa's needs, including debt restructuring. Considering it has been 33 years and one would think the solutions would have bore fruit, but looking back, Africa has been bleeding. With increasing harsh impacts of climate change and impoverished economies, the recently signed Nairobi Declaration needs are not far apart. Now, more than ever, it seemingly is evident that the global North and South are yet to take responsibility of their mess, while, on the other hand, African leaders also need to be firm in their policies and in the race against time. Helen Aura, NTV. Thank you very much. In other news, governors will now be held personally.